connecting you to the people that shape the communities and neighborhoods of Kansas City. This is Time Water Cable Newsmakers. Hello and welcome to Newsmakers. I'm your host, Nancy Lewis. We're here today in the Oval Office of the Truman Library in Independence, Missouri, and I'm here with Missouri Senator Will Krauss. And let, let's just start by talking about this upcoming legislative session. What is one or two, what are one or two main things that you hope to accomplish? Well, I believe you know, we need to make sure we're watching out for every dollar every day. Mm -hmm. uh, taxpayer money, we need to make sure we're responsible for that dollars. And, and with a year that we have a budget that's got a deficit, uh, it's even more important. And we also need to be looking at what the people of the state of Missouri want and not just focusing on what the special interests in Jefferson City do. So uh, last year I had seven town hall meetings. I've already got a town hall this year. So those are a couple of the things that I'm really focused on this year. You must be getting great feedback from this. Oh, absolutely. I think that whenever you listen to the people, you get ideas mm -hmm. and you go out and change things that the people want and not like I said, special interests. I think special interests have their lobbyists, and, and we get down to Jefferson City, and those lobbyists come in and they give us these ideas, but that's not what the people want. That's right. what special, you know, people that want tax credits or something like that, that isn't good, necessarily a good use of taxpayer dollars. I, there are a lot of things that you're interested in. I know one of them is making the sex offender registry more effective. Right. Well, what, what we found out is um, a couple years ago, we passed a law that said you couldn't live within 1,000 feet of a school. Well, what, that, that, what, what happens is, is that doesn't apply to people that are currently on the registry. That only applies to the people moving forward because we have a word in our Constitution called it's retrospective, mm -hmm. and then you can't go back and punish somebody that has already been given a sentence. Right. So we, what we're going to try to do this year is we're going to try to remove that word retrospective from the uh, Missouri Constitution, and that allows uh, that rule that we applied would be applied to everybody on the registry to keep our kids safe and keep those sex offenders away from our schools and any other things that come down the pipeline later on. I know another plan that you plan to push for is um, something that would require a photo ID for food stamps to reduce fraud. Absolutely. Is, is widespread fraud an, in, uh, an issue with that? I, I, yeah, absolutely. Um, last year, USDA did a uh, survey, and they surveyed over 800 people that are on food stamps, mm -hmm. and they kicked off 44,000 people for fraud. I was in a store the other day, and then behind me on the, a cell phone, where there was a guy that said, hey, I've got Mr. Smith's food stamp uh, EBT card. I've got to get $200 worth of food today. And, and one of the ways that I thought we could prevent that is if we put a photo on that ID, then they, when they go to the register, they could look at that photo and we could d deter them from trying to sell that EBT card and stop people from misusing taxpayer dollars. Uh, I also know that um, illegal immigration is something that you are quite interested in. I know there are a lot of people who say, you know, we're not a border state. Why is this such a big issue in Missouri? I, you know, it is a big issue because there are a number of people uh, that are attending our schools and, and it's costing the taxpayer dollars. And what we need to do is we need to make sure that what we're watching every dollar every day and make sure that those tax dollars aren't going to people that are breaking our laws and are here illegally. So uh, what would you do about that? Well, we've got two bills filed. The first one would actually is a data collection bill and it asks the the school districts when they get residency to determine citizenship and then they roll that up and they send that to the state and then we can quantify by how much how many people are here what the dollars are to educate those students and then we could my second bill would require the attorney general to sue the state uh, the federal government for restitution on that cost okay lots to talk about never enough time thank you very much all right thanks a lot for being here and thank you for being here we hope to see you next time on